Hello and welcome! I am Norvigicus and this is my let's play of Pokemon Stadium. In today's episode, we are going back into the stadium to do the Ultra Bull tier of the Prime Cup. So we are only two uh, tiers away from finishing off the stadium, so very very close to the end of the game. After that, it's the Master Bull tier and then we're done with the stadium. And in the Gym Leader Castle, we only have the Elite Four and Champion Battles left. So, very close to beating the game, actually. And we haven't lost a whole bunch. Uh, with our main team from Pokemon Yellow, we actually haven't lost a single battle yet. Um, that might be foreshadowing. I hope, I, uh, I hope I'm wrong when I say that. Other than that, we lost one battle in the Petite Cup, I think, once. Um, but that doesn't count, because that's not our actual team, you know? Anyway, let's go and pick up our registered Pokemon and be on our way into the Ultra Bowl tier. Alright, first off we have the Q-Bowl as usual. Okay, that's an interesting team, just gonna just go ahead and say that. Yeah, this is the guy who only has nicknames that are lowercase, just your regular names lowercase. Um, hmm, a lot of Pokemon, not a lot of Pokemon, two Pokemon actually only are weak against fire. One weak against water, the, the rest of them don't really have any weaknesses that I can exploit. So, what do we do here? I think a good choice is Cassiopeia, um, because she can take care of the Arcanine and the two bugs. So let's start with her. Um, Ditto, though, can cause some problems. I think I'm gonna go with my usual strategy of using Atlas and Zeus and just switch them in if I need to. Yeah, I think that's a good good thing to do. Let's go. Finally underway. Pokemon Tournament Prime Cup Ultra Ball. Okay. We're hoping that we see brilliant Pokemon strategy and tactics. Venomoth. Uh, that means we're going for Psychic. It might survive one, because I think Venomoth has decent uh, special, doesn't it? I'm not too sure. Okay. Disable. Hmm. What is it going to disable though? Blizzard, that's fine, I hope. I think. I don't think I need Blizzard, I mean maybe for the Butterfree, but uh, I can still use Thunderbolt. It's not as strong, but it's still going to do a lot of damage to Butterfree either way. Oh, and then I get a crit. <laughs> I needed that crit on the previous turn, game! The previous turn! Alright. Who is up? Uh, Mr. Mime. Hmm, alright. Let's still stay in. Um, I could use Blizzard. No, I get yeah, it's still uh, it's still disabled, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, surf is it? Uh, surf it is. Surf it is. It's stab. It's high power. It's not gonna do a whole lot to him because he has good special. But oh, it's got a two shot actually. Double slap. That's not scary. What oh, he even missed. Oh, the wow. One wow, wow, wow. That's kind of um, embarrassing. That, <laughs> yeah. Can I take him out? I can, good. It was a two shot. I think it was a range. Looked like it. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. That's sure true. What's the last Pokemon he has? Uh, Wigglytuff. Okay. That's a lot more HP, and I think Wigglytuff has a decent special. Um, but I mean, let's go for Surf anyway. I do want to preserve my uh, Cassiopeia though to get a st to get a, um, a continue Kriegel hit. That's perfect, actually. Mega Punch. Uh. Did he use Mega Punch through his mouth? <laughs> okay, just finish him off with uh, Surf. Oh, and now the disable is off, but that doesn't really matter because the battle is over. And I win! Take that balloon out of here. Here we go. Easy victory for us. Although that was too bad of a team, actually. Mr. Mime is kind of strong. Wigglytuff can take a few hits. Yeah, that was the, the worst team to have. So Ultra Bowl is actually taking it up a notch. 
I don't expect to get like all perfects here. I didn't in the in the uh, Poke Cup either. So, all right, this guy Rocket with all the numbers. All of his Pokémon are weak against Cassiopeia in one way or another, especially the Rock type uh, and Onyx. But also the Poison types are kind of strong. I mean, weak. And also Sand Slash cannot take a Surf. Amastar can take a few Thunderbolts, because he has good special, but still, Cassiopeia is the best choice. Um, I think I can also bring Atlas for the Poison types in case they give me trouble, but Nidoqueen is kind of scary, because she can use Ice moves and Surf as well, I think, even. And also Amastar is scary. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to bring Charon, because he can take care of the Poison types with Dream Eater. He can't be poisoned himself, and he has Mega Drain which is four times super effective against Amistar, actually, now that I think about it. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Starts with Amistar. That isn't ideal. But we'll have to go with it. Now. Don't know what he can do to me. Here's the first move. Yeah. Just have to wait and see, I guess. It looks like a three shot. Hydro Pump. Hmm. Alright, that, that's actually more damage than I thought it would do, but taking care of Amistar at this stage is very good, because he is definitely one of the scariest Pokémon that he could, could have chosen. Please miss with your Hydro Pump, that would be nice. No, of course not. That's half my health, actually. Not thrilled about that, to be honest. But at least he goes down. What is he gonna send out next? Oh, is it down and out? The next All depends on that. On Onyx. Oh, okay. Onyx. That one is free. It has to make Definitely. Yeah, one surf is gonna take care of you. Wait, if it sends out Onyx, isn't that the Pokemon that was weakest against Cassiopeia on his team? Arguably. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how the, uh, or what the AI is thinking when he does that, but all of his Pokemon were weak against Cassiopeia in one way or another. Okay, Sand Slash, good. That's another Surf. I don't think he's gonna survive, so Surf and win the battle. Good riddance. Slash Act 5. Yeah, get out of here, you. Okay, I could have gone worse. I was a little bit worried when I saw uh, Amistar, but it turned out okay. Still got a perfect. This rocket dude has nothing on me. Maybe next time on the Master Bolt here, but not this time. Not this time. Judo Boy! So. Is he the same as in the Gym Leader Castle, or is it just the one in the Gym Leader Castle who uses um, Focus Energy? Because this guy has the same, like, the same, like, nickname pattern as the guy in the, um, the Gym Leader Castle. And I think all of these Pokémon, maybe except for Electrode, can learn Focus Energy. So, I'm not sure. But, anyway, uh, four of these Pokémon are weak against Cassiopeia, against either... Um, Thunderbolt slash Blizzard or Psychic. So she is up. And then I need Atlas for the Electrode if it comes out. And I think I'm gonna bring Charon as my last Pokemon. He can also do a lot of damage against most of these Pokemon. So let's go. The upcoming battle looks promising. We're into round three. Hmm. Polyrath again. Well, we've seen you time uh, time and time again. Let's go for Thunderbolt. We know he's going to survive one Thunderbolt, unless I get a crit. Which I don't. And he's going to go for Submission. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm a Psychic type, so that's not very effective. Doesn't really matter. I can take a little bit of damage, that's fine. I don't mind. As long as I win. Preferably with... Oh, of course, now I get a critical hit. I was gonna say preferably with a perfect. 
but um, we'll have to see. What will the next Pokemon be? The important thing is that I win. Champ. Oh, it's my champ. Hey there, Champ. How will the type different from I think that? the Pokedex entry from Champ in one of the games says that he can throw punches like one punch. Wait, a thousand punches a second, isn't it? Something like that. That's kind of weird. It's gonna be really fast then. A thousand punches in one second. He does have four arms, but still. Yeah, focus energy. So this guy is like a focus energy guy. Only Polyrath didn't do it. Maybe not all of his Pokemon does it. Or do it. Does do it. Let's get rid of him. At least he wasted his turn. Interesting sound to make. A difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. And the last Pokemon is Psy. Oh, Thur. Scyther. Yeah, let's go for Blizzard. One. Stronger than Thunderbolt, and, and he's a flying type, Scythe. so that should take him out. I think. Oh, okay. 12 HP, but he goes for focus energy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know why Polyrath didn't do it, but maybe he doesn't always do it. I had the impression that he always did it, but um, I guess not. It doesn't matter, I win, Scyther goes down, and Cassiopeia is waving back and forth, proud as ever. As she ought to be. Nice. W for us, an L for you, and we move on to the fourth battle. It's only been like 12 and a half minutes, so this is uh, this is going swimmingly. Now we have the Gambler again, and I do already have a strategy for this guy uh, because we know that he's going to attempt to make me slower, and then try to do as in with one to KO moves. And we also know that the only one Ikeo moves are ground and normal type moves. So I think uh, Golem and Nidoking have, um, they have a Fissure, and then Pinsir has Guillotine, and Rapidash and, Do um, not Golem, uh, Dugong have Horn Drill, and then Clefable is probably only there to have uh, metronome and thunder wave and body slam to cripple you and make you slower. So I think my strategy here is start with Cassiopeia. She is fast, so they are going to attempt to make her slow, uh, probably. And then I'm going to bring Charon, who is uh, immune to Guillotine and Horn Drill, and then also Zephyrus, who is immune to uh, Fissure. So that's what we're going with. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. Pinsir, okay. So he can still go for something that will paralyze me. Um, like Thunder Wave. He can't have that, actually. <laughs> Body Slam was what I was going to say. But we're going to go for Blizzard. They do a lot of damage to him. Poses. He's probably going to go for Body Slam. Here's Pretty sure he's going to go for that. If he survives, what does it? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. Yeah, predictable. What will the trainer do okay, now? so I was just chancing it. I could have just gone into uh, Charon, but um, I think we're fine. If Blizzard hits, he's gone. What now? Good riddance. Get out of here, you. That's an ugly color as well on Pinsir, Sir Pin. Pokemon is Sir Pen. And there we go. Gongdu. He can have... Can he have agility? I think he can. He might have Body Slam as well. Um, let's go Thunderbolt. We'll just stay in as long as we can. As soon as I'm slower, they're not going to take the chance anymore. That's when the real game begins. Bubble Beam. Okay, so he's not going to... Lower my speed. It didn't though. 
Okay, so I can still stay in, use a Thunderbolt. I don't know if I would have been slower after one... Um, after one speed drop, but maybe... Lemgo! Oh, he's gonna predict my Thunderbolt. <laughs> That's fine, because I have Surf. <laughs> that was a bad switch, either way. Yeah. Unless he switches back. No, he doesn't. <laughs> maybe he just chanced that I didn't have Surf on my water type. I, I hope that was what went through his head. I know it's a game and it doesn't actually have a head, but it would have been funny if that was real life and the trainer went, okay, maybe he doesn't have Surf on his Starmie. I can send him my Golem and then... <laughs> screws it up. Alright. That means there's no, not gonna be any one kill moves from you, because you are going down now. Nice. Gong Doo. As a kid, I called him Jugong for some reason. I don't know if anyone else did that. It's probably because I'm Norwegian. <laughs> and that was this, you know. I don't know why I said that, Jugong. I just didn't know English. Unless, um, until I saw the anime. Um, and I think they said Dugong in the anime, and then I just switched. There we go. Cool female. Uh, okay. Interesting team. Very interesting team. Hmm. Four, I mean, not four, three water types. I think Zeus is a good start. Um, yeah. I think Zeus, Etna, and Cassiopeia for this battle. Okay, so Zeus goes in first. Because there's a higher chance of him having a water type than a grass or ground type. Definitely going to bring Cassiopeia for the Rhydon and then Etna for the grass types. Yeah. The question is though, should I think like I thought last time when I brought Etna first in case of the uh, grass types? Because grass types can do more annoying, th um, annoying things. Hmm. You know what? No. Let's just go for it. Go for it. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. Ah, fuck me. Of course. This time I didn't do it. And then she chooses a grass type. All right. Let's go for Etna. I can feel... I can feel... A stun spore coming my way. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, it's rising. Toxic, okay, that's way better. Way better. Okay, so now she's probably gonna switch into a water type. Uh, let's go for Fire Blast anyway. It is damage. Yeah, predictable. Either Blastoise, Tentacruel, or what was the last one? Yeah, Blastoise, okay. Can I get a burn though? <laughs> Doesn't matter if I do. Burn's not gonna help me against the special attacker. Critical hit though. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Very good. Zeus uh, can take water type moves. Unless he goes for Earthquake, that would be bad. I'm pretty sure Blastoise can learn Earthquake, right? Gen 1 movesets are weird, so... Hydro Pump, that's fine. Oh, critical hit, of course he got that. Fuck you. Of course he got a critical hit, why wouldn't you? Oh, and then he switches out. Back into Vileplume, probably? Oh, right on. Alright. So this is the swapping battle, then. Alright, I guess Cassiopeia. He's probably gonna go for Earthquake. I can take Earthquake, at least one. Oh, goes for Dig. And since I'm faster, I'm gonna attack first. So it doesn't really matter what I do. Let's go for Psychic. So I'm predicting that he's gonna switch again after I hit him. I mean, after he hits me with Dig. Don't crit me. Okay, good. That was very bad. Uh, let's go for Blizzard, because I think he's gonna swap into Vileplume. Yeah, 
Or at least it's gonna switch. I don't think Blastoise is a good choice, so it's probably Vile Plume, right? Yes. Vile Plants. Vile Plants. Vile Plants. Can I hit? Yes, good. Okay. Should I chance the second Blizzard? I'm actually, I'm gonna go for the Psychic, of course. What am I thinking? Of course I can go for the Psychic. It's gonna take him out. With 107 HP. Yeah. Get out of here, you. Okay. So now it's gonna send in Blastoise, probably, and I can take him out with Thunderbolt. Hopefully. Hmm, can I though? I think I can. I'm really hoping I can. What can Blastoise do to me in return though? Water type moves is not gonna do much. Okay, good. I took him out. Your switching shenanigans ultimately was your downfall. And Rhydon is no problem, as we know. Rhydon's. What kind of dance is that? Is that one of those new hip dances that you junglings are doing? The Rai Dance? Do the Rai Dance! Was that the Rai Dance? <laughs> the thing you did there? Maybe. Maybe it was. I'm not gonna judge you. There we go, another perfect. Hmm, five perfects actually. That's good. Three battles to go. Those are probably the three hardest ones. Bird Boy! Okay, another uh, Zapdos. And he has evolved his Haunter to a Gengar or Gengash. Okay. Yeah, so I think the obvious choice here is Zeus. Zeus can take out all of these Pokemon. Uh, except for Gengar and Zapdos. Um, and you can also Thunder Wave the Gengar if need be. So they'll bring Atlas, obviously, for the Zapdos. And also Gengar, I mean, um, Atlas can take care of the, the flying types too with Rock Slide. Um, Golbat is a little bit scary with Mega Drain. And then Gengar, what do we do about you? Um, I can bring Cassiopeia in the back with Psychic. Yeah. Let's do that. Field is thinning out. We're into round six. Zapdos. Okay, or Zapdash. Hmm. Well, looks like a switch into Atlas. And Rock Slide is going to wreck whatever comes out if he switches. So, I'm not scared either way. Thunder Wave, right? Oh, Light Screen. Okay. I mean, that it's not a bad choice, actually, against a um, special attacker like Jolteon, but okay. Flash. Oh, that's annoying. I will hit you eventually, so... You can flash me all you want. I get... I got you. Okay, one more is gonna do it, but I'm gonna go for Body Slam this time, in case I miss. It's more accurate. I got a flash, it's annoying. Can I hit him even with two flashes? Come on. Yes, I got him. Good job, Atlas. I didn't expect anything less of you. Gengar. Okay, so he definitely has a Mega Drain. Let's switch into Cassie. Oh, wait. Mega Drain for Cassiopeia. Hmm. Is that a good is that a good idea? It's the best choice I have. Hmm. Each other down. Yeah, it's fine. Um, doesn't take too much damage off of me, I think, and it doesn't have anything to heal. Okay, Nightshade. That's way better. You can do that. 100 HP is a lot, but I don't mind. Psychic, let's go. 
So because of this Gengar, I might not actually get a uh, continue from this battle. Special drop, that is actually very good. Unless he goes for a Nightshade again, okay, then it doesn't matter. It is a hit. Alright, uh, Psychic, finish him off. Is he gonna switch? Wow, why? That's a weird switch. Pidgeot, or Pidgeot, as he said. Okay, how can uh, Pidgeot take a Psychic? Not very well. <laughs> Critical hit and special drop at the same time. Well, let's just finish him off with Thunderbolt then. No reason to switch. I wonder why he swapped out. That was a weird one. Maybe he just didn't want to lose his Gengar. For some reason. Well, he did anyway. Gengash. Let's go with a Psychic. There we go. And I win. We did it! Alright, Bird Boy, going down, two more battles to go, time is looking good, Lab Man, Lab Man, alright, oh, hmm, alright, let's see what we can do here, so this guy has two water types, I see those, and uh, that's the only common weakness or that's not the word that's not that's the only weakness I can see uh, throughout here but starting with Zeus is kind of scary because of the Doug trio um, yeah but I think I want to do it anyway let's go for Zeus first let's also bring Cassiopeia for the Doug trio and I guess hmm, the Executor, though. I, I do need Atlas for the Electabuzz, that's for sure. Okay, let's just hope he doesn't bring Executor. And if he does, then I have to use Blizzard on him. Yeah, that's kind of scary, but... This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Oh, of course he starts with it. Well... Fuck me, I guess. Um, should I Thunder Wave it before I go? I don't know what it's gonna do to me, though. It could go for Psychic. It could go for Egg Bomb, which would be not very scary at all. It could go for some kind of Spore move, like Sleep Powder or something. Hmm, let's see what he does. Toxic, okay, that's fine. Don't mind. Don't mind at all. Okay, I don't have a choice. I have to use Cassiopeia. It's the only Pokemon I can take care of. Executor. Executor is scary. He has high special, too. Please be paralyzed. No. A Leech Seed! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. Whew, okay. Blizzard, please don't miss. He might have Mega Drain, he might have Solar Beam, I don't know. Fuck, I miss. Fuck me. Oh no. Okay, Toxic, that's fine. Just Toxic me, bro. I don't mind. So that's his strategy then. Leech Seed and Poison. Why did Blizzard have to miss now? It's the worst timing ever. Yes, okay. It's a two-shot, I think. Unless he goes for, for Leech Seed. And he's paralyzed, good. Just stay paralyzed, okay? Stay paralyzed! Don't leech seed me! <laughs> I mean, I could just switch out and that would get rid of the leech seed, but uh... Okay, good. Take him out. Fuck me, no. No, there comes the leech seed. Hmm. Okay, so he's not gonna sack any of my health this turn. 
Um, let's go for Psychic to finish him off. It's just 7 HP. A psychic yeah, just get rid of this dumb plant. That's the only Pokemon I didn't want to see, and he brought it out, of course. It started with it. Okay, Toxic isn't too bad, though. I can live with that. Vaporeon, though. That's way scarier. Let's go back into Zeus, because Vaporeon is very bulky. It has high H uh, HP, as you can see, 404 HP. Compared to my 290 or 311. So I'm a lot higher. Double team. You're an asshole. Hmm. Well, I guess Thunder is out of the question then. Can I hit with Thunderbolt though? Paralyzed. That's good. What happens now? He's paralyzed. Good. No more double team. Please hit with Thunderbolt again, take care of it, because I don't want to deal with evasion. There we go. Now, who is the superior evolution here? Obviously, it's Jolteon. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. And the next Pokemon is Dugtrio. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think Cassiopeia is going out to surf that down. Not sure if I'm faster, because Dugtrio is very fast. But I have given her um, some Carbos, Cassiopeia that is, so maybe she is faster because of that. Dig though, that is going to do a lot of damage to me, because it is as strong in Gen 1 as Earthquake. And I do have Poison on me too. Yeah, just drown him. There isn't any hole after him. What now? For some reason. Other Pokemon have a hole after them when they dig, but not Dogtree or Diglett for some reason. Okay, I'm faster, good. That means it's going down. No way he survives the surf. Especially not a crit. Yeah. Here we go. Another perfect. Wow, we haven't lost a single Pokemon yet. Interesting. Maybe I can go for old perfects. Hmm. I definitely didn't expect that. But now there's only one battle left and we have seven continues. Huh. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have doubted our team. Final battle against the cool guy. Look at that. No legendaries for some reason. I expected either... Uh, Moltres or Articuno, or both, honestly. But Dragonite, of course, is a staple of these battles. Um, what should I bring first? I think Cassiopeia is a good choice against four of these Pokémon, so let's bring her as the first Pokémon to Blizzard the Dragonite and Surf the Ninetales and the um, Aerodactyl and Thunderbolt the Slowbro. Let's also bring Atlas for the Jolteon, and for the last Pokemon, I think I should bring my own Zeus, because um, of the... Slowbro is the only Pokemon I can reliably survive Thunderbolt, and it might have Amnesia as well. So let's go with that team. Let's do it. This is it, the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Okay, starts with the Pokemon I didn't want to see. As usual. Okay, let's try Thunderbolt, see what it does. Might be a three shot, which is not ideal. Bro store. Oh, critical hit, that helps. Okay, it would have been a two shot otherwise. Yeah, that was the perfect crit moment. Thank you, crit machine. All right. Oh, Dragonite. I have something for you. A, fight two a blizzard! If I can hit you, that is. It's probably going to go for a thunder wave if he survives. Okay, got him. Whoa, looks like a bad yes! One shot! Take that, you dragon. Dragon thingy. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Okay, that was that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Snorstore. Oh, okay, Mr. Snorstore. 
Let's um, use Psychic. Hopefully I get some uh, special drops. He's probably gonna go for Hyper Beam, right? Or something like that. No special drop, but okay. Thunder, hmm. All right. Got me. That wasn't too bad, actually. It could have been worse. Okay, please get a special drop. I need one special drop now. Maybe he goes for Hyper Beam this time. No special drop still? Okay. Thunder again. I think I'll survive one more. <laughs> Especially if he misses. Can I take him out with one more second now, though? If, it, if, if I do, then I'm very happy, because then I got all perfects. Okay, good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All perfects in the Ultra Bowl tier of the Prime Cup. That was not expected at all. Awesome. Good work, team. Good work. Look at that. Yeah, don't get anything special from doing that, but it's still cool to do it. So there we go. The Ultra Bowl is done. Or the Ultra Bowl tier, I guess. Whew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I like that. I like that. So if you go into the stadium now, we can see that we have three out of the four trophies for the Prime Cup. Wow, only one more tier to go, which is the hardest one as well. And just for the background music, let's go visit Professor Oak. Why don't we? Yeah, well, let's just pick our game, whatever. So yeah. I'm going to end the episode right here. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Stadium, and you know, if you did, I would appreciate you leaving a like on this video. Next episode, we're going back into the Gym Leader Castle to defeat the Elite Four and Champion, definitely. And then we're done with the Gym Leader Castle, and then there's just one more thing you have left to do, which is the Master Ball tier of the Prime Cup, and then we're pretty much done with the game. So, I hope you will join me in the next episode, if you found this one interesting in some way. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and bye-bye for now.